If you were like most young men, there's a good chance you've been in a situation where you wanted a girl more than she wanted you. You were chasing her while she was running away from you. And that is not the scenario that you want to be in. You want to be in the scenario where she is chasing you while you chase your goals. My name is Frank. I help you on men through self-improvement. If that interests you, click the subscribe button. It's a win-win for both of us. This is a new series I'm going to be doing every single week where I dive deep into one chapter of The Way of the Superior Man. I'm just going to read it, then give you my unfiltered thoughts on it. And yeah, we'll just go into it. And let's say... Today's a, a Thursday, but I'll post these, let's say, every Friday, just because Thursday's kind of a weird day. So I'm just gonna start by just kind of reading the uh, like the introduction to the chapter. So chapter 29, choose a woman who chooses you. If a man wants a woman who doesn't want him, he cannot win. His neediness will undermine any possible relationship and his woman will never be able to trust him. A man must determine whether a woman really wants him, but is playing hard to get, or whether she really doesn't want him. If she doesn't want him, he should immediately cease pursuing her and deal with his pain by himself. So essentially the main learning lesson that I got out of this chapter, and I've definitely seen this be applied in my real life, is that you don't want to be going after a girl who does not want you. So the first thing that you want to look for is someone who has genuine desire. Now, what does genuine desire look like? Genuine desire is someone who is excited to see you, someone who is excited to be around you, someone who wants to be with you. When you text them, they reply, not necessarily right away, but pretty quick. When you invite them on a date, their schedule is super open, they want to see you, and they're motivated to do so. They're not sitting here, you know, being wishy-washy, oh, you know, I don't know if I can go out that day, oh, I don't know if I'm free. Oh yeah, I mean, maybe I'd want to go out with you. I just have to, I just have to see what things look like. No, that is not the situation that you want to be in. You want to be in the first one where she has genuine desire because girls who show genuine desire, girls, those girls are gonna make it easy for you. You're never gonna be sitting there thinking to yourself, oh, like overthinking, oh, does she like me? Does she not like me? Because when you're thinking so much about it and you're putting so much thought, so much time into worrying about a girl you can't actually focus on other things in life and you're going to be absolutely consumed with this which you don't want to happen you don't want this area of your life to be something that consumes you You want it to be something that fuels you so do not entertain girls who show mediocre desire only entertain girls that want to be with you and show high desire because as a man that's what you need in your life and the reason you want a relationship that has this dynamic where you both feel desire for each other you both pursue each other is because it allows the true masculine and feminine essence to thrive because okay if you haven't really heard about this before masculine energy is the pursuit of goals the pursuit of your mission and the pursuit of purpose while feminine energy is love the pursuit of love so if you're a masculine man who's focused on your mission who's focused on your goals who wants to become a strong man and level up his life you need a feminine woman who is focused on love who is focused on the pursuit of love and of course i'm, I'm not saying oh yeah if you're a man oh uh, you you can't you can't be focused on love. You can't love your girlfriend. Like, no, of course, love is still a part of your life. You still want to show love to your girlfriend, to the girl that you're with. You still want to show that. You don't want to be a cold-hearted, uh, alpha male. No, no, you don't, want to, you don't want to do that. You still want to love her, but it's not the focus of your life. Your goals, your work is the focus. And okay, obviously, if something were to happen, if, if you needed to go out and help your family, if something happened to your girl, of course, you would be there for her before like your business or your goals. But on a day to day basis, your business, your goals, whatever that is, takes the front stage, you need to make sure that you're getting that done. And if you want to be focused on that, then you need a woman who is focused on love. And if she does not have a strong desire for you, she will not be able to give this feminine type of energy because in order for her to have that energy, she has to have strong desire. So that is why you do not want to deal with women who have low desire. Next thing the chapter talks about is you need to decide whether she's playing hard to get or if she actually has low desire. Because some girls in the early stages will kind of like play this game where they kind of play hard to get, maybe show low interest sometimes. And it can be a little confusing and you might think that they have low desire, but they actually don't. They're just showing that. And honestly, in my opinion, the answer to that, the way you do that is, well, honestly, one, I wouldn't really want to deal with a girl who's not, who's kind of playing those games and stuff. I think that's kind of annoying. That's not the type of life that I would want to be, not the type of girl that I would want. Um, because it, it just kind of like shows that, oh, you, they feel like they got to play games to get you to like them, which just is kind of shallow in my opinion. But the thing is, a lot of people do do that. So how do you actually decipher whether she's playing games or if she's 
just doesn't have a high desire. Well, the way that you do that is you look at her actions because a girl, she may say certain things. She may, you know, be a bit wishy-washy with her responses. She might do things, but if she's meeting you out for dates, if she seems to be excited to go out with you when you go out there, then she has high interest. She's just playing games. And of course this doesn't apply 100% of the time, but if there's one method that helps you out with this aspect, it's definitely looking at her actions, not her words. Because sometimes girls will say certain things, um, but that doesn't that's not what their actions show. And that's true for men and women. Your actions always speak louder than your words. So if you wanna find out, is she playing games or does she actually have low desire? Look at her actions. If you ask her to go out with you and she's you know not responding, she's you know being wishy-washy, then she has low desire. But if you ask her to hang out and she's meeting you out for dates and she's excited when you actually go on the dates, she has high desire. So yeah, with all this being said, bro, go after girls who show high interest. Go after girls who choose you. Go after a girl who wants to be with you just as much as you want to be with her. Because you see that dynamic so often where the guy is always the one chasing her and the guy is always the one pursuing her. And what happens in those relationships? Well, the girl slowly kind of starts to pull herself away because it's not natural. It's not natural for the guy to always be the one chasing the woman. It needs to be mutual. And honestly, the girl should be chasing the guy more than the guy is chasing the girl. That's how it should be. Now, of course, it's like you both show, show interest, but the girl should be the one going after the guy. So yeah, I hope this video helped. Be sure to subscribe and be ready for the next video of this series. Love you, bro.